this afternoon the main main agenda item is uh, discussion on fundamentals of liquid atomization to see where the where our fundamental understanding needs to be improved uh, that will follow in a, in a short while but we're going to start this afternoon with a with a brief uh, with a talk by satya about an upcoming effort which is a pan indian effort actually and let him take off from there and uh, following that like i mentioned at at four o'clock today we have a talk by professor paul soeker it's going to be over skype so we want to make some time for that as well as our uh, closure meeting so we'll try to squeeze these two little changes in today uh, thanks mahesh uh, i thought i'll just use this opportunity to address this gathering to inform you about uh, a effort that is uh, being launched just now as we speak it's just, it's just happening this month, in the last uh, week or so, we finally got the clearances after years of work on setting up a national combustion research uh, center. So it, it is now variously called. We still haven't uh, even built the buildings that are required for it. So we will bother about the exact names when we have to actually paint the boards on front of them. But largely speaking, we are talking about uh, setting up um, a national combustion research uh, center with uh, two uh, nodes, physical nodes, one at IIT Madras and another at IIT, sorry, IIC uh, Bangalore. Uh, the, the whole thing has um, turned out like this. I think in the Indian Planning Commission, that is at the Government of India, um, <clears throat> principal scientific advisor to the Prime Minister at that level, uh, they had decided that combustion is a very important thing to fund, both from uh, energy as well as uh, environmental issues point of view because it's you need to look at combustion from both angles uh, and uh, from there uh, they, they they actually solicited a proposal from the combustion institute indian section which was uh, a nodal agency to put together a proposal to set up a um, exclusively combustion research institute that is like a completely different institution than any of the existing institutions but when they reviewed the uh, situation they found out that we don't really have as much of a critical mass for a separate institution whereas we have a limited critical mass in a couple of existing institutions namely IIT Madras and IA, IASC. Uh, for example at IIT Madras across about three four departments we have about 20, 20 faculty members working in uh, combustion of uh, different kinds aerospace uh, energy as in coal combustion and uh, <coughs> uh, droplets and sprays and so on. Uh, in IASC as well, there has been a lot of uh, effort uh, doing, doing combustion for quite some time. Uh, historically speaking, they have been doing biomass combustion, droplet and spray uh, sprays, and so on. Uh, so they have had about uh, they, they they have about 15 faculty members, and uh, they have been planning on hiring more combustion faculty exclusively in the in the context of this center. The late the, the first of those will probably be Santosh Hemachandra, right? So. Uh, so he told me that he is actually joining IASC in a couple of months later, primarily because the center is coming up, and I campaigned for him to do so. Okay, uh, so I think we are looking up because this is a professional reason why somebody would come and join us. So the the overall uh, picture is uh, there is about a 20 million US dollars approximately that is being uh, put into uh, this, roughly equally uh, between IIT Madras and IASC over a five-year period. But we will the bulk of the expenditure is going to happen in the next two to three years where we will be busy trying to develop um, experimental test rigs and um, setting up diagnostic techniques uh, as well as of course investing on computational resources and modeling efforts, uh, softwares and all those things. Um, and the three major application areas as I said are uh, automotive combustion, um, uh, aerospace combustion and also coal, coal and biomass combustion. The idea here is actually, uh, we, we, we noted that we have critical mass of researchers in IIT Madras and IASC, but the, the uh, rest of the researchers are scattered across the country. So for example, at Jadavpur, we have about uh, three or four very, very uh, important people uh, there. At IIT Kanpur, we have about uh, three, four people. Uh, in IIT Delhi, maybe about two or three. IIT uh, Bombay, about two or three. So we have these kinds of people uh, scattered across the country. And of course, lots of other uh, uh, relatively smaller institutions where there are one or two people who would want to um, do some cutting edge research in combustion. The idea here is they, uh, we, we actually work together and um, we, we take up specific projects which will also be ex ex 
funded outside of this uh, this money that I that I mentioned, where they can actually come and make use of these facilities. And of course, we also think about uh, collaborators from across the world to uh, work on uh, problems um, related to <coughs> combustion. The most important thing uh, that came to my mind when I was uh, at, the, uh, at the session earlier today um, in the context of this was uh, one of the first things that we will be doing uh, um, soon is to set up what's called as working groups, uh, the technical working groups. So we identify many of these areas like um, fuels or uh, sprays uh, or these, some of these kinds of uh, technical topics on which we want to have working groups. So each of these working groups will probably have about uh, uh, 10 academics and 10 industry people. Okay, and uh, so bulk of the 10 academics will probably come from IIT Madras and IISC because of the, um, the way the distribution is. But we will also rope in uh, people from other institutions, uh, academic institutions. From the industry side, we will actually have a, uh, across the industry, so we will, we will have representatives from different uh, organizations or companies. For example, in gas turbines, we will have GTRE, GE, etc., all of them. The idea here is to um, uh, kickstart something like a consortium approach to research on a pre-competitive uh, level. In, uh, in um, India, um, uh, unfortunately, we don't have too much of a industry academic uh, you know, interaction. I guess it's not there in many places as well. <coughs> uh, but, but we kind of keep telling ourselves that we don't do this and we don't do this. Uh, so what we think is that this will probably catalyze a, a effort where we can form consortia of uh, industry partners who will participate in pre-competitive research. So uh, as we discussed in the morning, one of the things that we want to start doing in these working groups is you consult industry partners on what kind of, uh, so uh, ISRO, LPSC will, uh, so ISRO, DRDO, all these people, the defense and space, we, we look at them as industry as well. Um, what we want to do is actually um, <clears throat> get them to tell us specifications on what kind of rigs that, that would be useful for them. It's not as if like we just do whatever rigs that we think are good enough, but we, we want uh, them to tell us what, what's the kind of rigs, what, what specifications, what flow rates, what pressures, what temperatures that we have to uh, target, uh, not only for current uh, needs as well, but, but also for future applications. So starting from there to what kind of diagnostics would be useful, meaningful, uh, possible, and so on, we will have to discuss and and try to uh, decide what to what to get and uh, put together and so on. So these things will happen in the next couple of years uh, when we we also try to build a building at least at IIT Madras IISC. I think they are, they have had a lot of construction there, so they are still thinking about uh, uh, a new construction versus occupying an existing uh, building and so on. So th th so there is there is like a floor space requirement that is going to be met in the next couple of years, even as we are thinking about test rigs and equipment. Uh, but beyond that, I think the working groups will continue to start thinking about uh, uh, doing specific problems, maybe address some grand challenges uh, in these different application areas. Uh, so we, we believe that uh, work, the working groups will actually be able to contribute significantly. Uh, we also have about um, uh, two crores worth of money earmarked for workshops uh, exclusively. And then we are, we are uh, just tentatively thinking that we will probably have an international workshop every two months. <laughs> okay, uh, of course, uh, we, we can always find the best weather in the country uh, any, any time of the year. So it's, <laughs> maybe we can go to some place where, where, where the weather is good. Chennai is not really the best place most of the time. But I think we will have a lot of interaction. That is what uh, I, I'm, I'm foreseeing. Just wanted to keep you updated about this. Thanks a lot.